Uh, my name is Oren Hallett and I'm a PhD student in the School of Canadian Studies and the President of the Graduate Students Association here at Carleton University. And my name is Shelley Watson and I'm a Human Rights and Sociology student and I'm President of the Undergraduate Students Association here at Carleton. <laughs> And uh, it is my great pleasure to introduce you to our new pre our incoming president, or president-designate, Dr. Roseanne O'Reilly Runta. I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, Dr. Runta's professional accomplishments. Dr. Runta has served as president of several universities in Canada and the United States. Indeed, she is one of the very few people in the world to have led both a French university and numerous English universities. She is a recognized scholar and well, a recognized and well-published scholar. She has written not only in the area of 17th and 18th century French and comparative literature, but in the areas of cultural and economic development, education, and creative writing. She's also one of, one of a small number of published poets who are university presidents, and probably one of the only, only one whose writing has received a prize from the French Academy in Paris. Our new president has, the experience of being, of, has experience in the international domain as well, having served as the president of the Foundation for International Training, president of the Canadian Commission for UNESCO, a member of the board of Expo 2000, and of the Club of Rome and an, an international think tank. She was also president of the American Council of Edu on Education's International Education Commission, and she is a member of the International Parliament of Cultures. With all this, she also manages to do non-for-profit non work as well. She has worked with many non-profit non organizations and government agencies, including the National Library of Canada, the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons, and the Hannah Institute. She also has experience serving on the business boards, including the National Bank of Canada and Jean Couteau. Dr. Runta's work has been recognized with many honors, including membership in the Royal Society, the Order of Canada, the French Order of Merit, and as well, a number of honorary degrees. The awards she has received demonstrate the scope of her interest and activities. She has been Humanitarian of the Year, Servant Leader, won a Peace and Dialogue Award, been named Sports Person of the Year, won an Environmental Award, won a Woman of Distinction Award as a trailblazer. And I know what you're thinking, I'm actually going to go on and describe more. There is more. Uh, and now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the personal side of Dr. Runte, because in addition to having someone who has tremendous accolades, we actually think we found a tremendous person to lead this university. Our new president has traveled extensively around the world from Africa, Asia to Europe and South America, visiting the Incan Trail in Peru, the lizards in the Galapagos, the Moy in Easter Island, Pagan in Myanmar. Some of her poems were written during her travels and adventures, some of which occurred in Canada, shooting the rapids in the Tat, camping in the Glacier Bay, trail riding in the Rockies, and photographing, photographing the elusive narwhals in the Eclipse Sound. Sometimes she's been known to do poetry readings accompanied by music and photographic images. She was invited to write Arenga, a linked poem with several poets in Tokyo. This was later set to music and choreographed for dance accompaniment. She likes being part of the university community and attends students' events and faculty lectures often. How exciting is that? On the weekends, she enjoys walking on campus with, her, with Jake, her small white dog whose ideal happiness is being patted by a student. She is known for her warmth and her personal interest in every member of the community and for her outreach in the surrounding community and the world beyond. It is not unusual to find her to begin her day with investors, meet with government officials, and have lunch with faculty, spend the afternoon preparing contracts and grants, and having dinner or pizza with students later, which is great for those of us dying in debt. Um, she likes to be a vital and vibrant part of the campus community, and we look forward to sampling some of her infamous cookies, which she's known to give out to first-year students on move-in day. <laughs> now I'd like to take the opportunity to, uh, to invite Dr. Rente, our new, new president-designate, to come up and say a few words of her very own.